Hi there, my name is Holly Jones and I am a member of the Data School DS43 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a small multiples column chart. Small multiple charts, also known as trellis or grid charts, are useful for allowing you to visualise data across multiple dimensions. They can also provide a clear and concise view of patterns and trends. They can be used in cases such as viewing business metrics over time for multiple locations or for other multiple dimensions. So let's jump into Power BI and get started. Here I'm using the order table from the Tableau Superstore data. I have created a small multiples cluster column chart to plot summer profits for each year between 2020 and 2023. Each of these individual charts are further subcategorized by subcategory of products. We'll now recreate this graph. First, we will recreate our small multiple column chart by creating a new page. We then need to navigate to the visualization pane on the right and choose the chart type that we want to use for the visualization. We can choose from multiple different charts in this pane. I am going to choose a clustered column chart. So we can double click the icon to move it to the main pane and resize as necessary. We need to drag the dimension that we want to use onto the X axis. Here, as we want to plot sum of profits by order date, we are going to move the order date to the X axis. As we only need to see the profits by year, we can delete quarter, month and day from the order date hierarchy in the x-axis. We will then drag the measure for analysis to the y-axis, in this case, profit. As you can see, the profit under the y-axis has been automatically aggregated to a sum level. Power BI has automatically created a column chart with the sum of profits plotted for each year. To turn this single table into a small multiples chart, we need to drag a second dimension onto the small multiples area here. In this case, we're going to use subcategory. Power BI has now automatically created a grid of charts based on this selected dimension. We can further format our grid layout of the small multiples chart by navigating to the Format Your Visual pane here on the right. We need to scroll to the Small Multiples option. Opening this will give options to change the number of charts and how many we'd like to see on each row and each column. We can then adjust these accordingly to the layout that we would like. Here I've chosen to have four charts on each row and four charts on each column. We also have the ability to change the padding. And voila, we made our first small multiples chart. To enhance the visual appeal and usability of small multiple charts, we can customise the colour of the columns based on whether or not a subcategory is profitable or non-profitable. In order to do this, we need to again navigate to the format your visual pane and scroll to columns. Under this option, where we find colour, we need to click on the FX button. Under format style, we need to select a rule and then choose the field that we want to base this rule on. In this case, profit. The rules I've chosen are if a column is profitable, it has a value over zero, but under or equal to the maximum value. Unprofitable columns have a value that is over or equal to the minimum value or under zero. I've coloured them accordingly. And we can see the columns are now colour coded based on their profitability. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in creating small multiple charts and using some basic conditional formatting. If you enjoyed this video, You'd love this related how-to video by my fellow data schooler Tobias Colmer on adding additional formatting to charts. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Please also subscribe to the channel to get notified when we release new videos.